Yeah, can you see yeah. me? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Yeah. How are you? I'm out of the problem. I'm yeah, yeah. good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I can see you as well as here. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Great, great, great. So let us start with some introduction first. Yeah. Sure, sure. Why not? So uh, my name is Gopi and I'm from Chennai and I'm working as a quality control specialist in the BPO. Okay, great, great. And uh, so your hometown is also Chennai? Yeah, my hometown is Chennai. Yes, I'm from Chennai. And right now also you're in Chennai? Yeah, great. Oh, great. And apart from that, I mean, uh, like what are your interests and hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? Yeah, before that, uh, can I have your introduction? Okay. <laughs> Actually, interest and hobbies are a part of introduction, but yeah, okay, I'll give mine. Um, okay. My name, as you know, um, is Metri, Metri Sharma. I am from, um, so my hometown is Udaipur in Rajasthan, uh, okay. but I've been brought up and like raised completely in Delhi. And from past uh, one and a half years, I've been living in Pune. <laughs> oh, so yeah, and, um, <laughs> and I am pursuing my chartered accountancy. Oh. Uh, my last exam is pending and it's uh, about to happen in May. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So, so are you confident enough to clear the examination? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very much confident. I've been preparing for it for such a long time. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited that finally the exams will happen and I will clear it okay. and get done with it. <laughs> okay. So is this, is, this, is this your first attempt or uh, uh, for CA? Yeah, like uh, for uh, actually, I've cleared my one group already of final. So final has two groups. I have cleared okay. the first group already. I have to appear for the second one, and for second one, it's my first. Yeah. Oh, great! Because uh, CA examination is one of the toughest one uh, in India, I believe. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It, it it really is tough. Actually, the syllabus is uh, like not that tough, but the mm -hmm. tough part is to maintain that you know regularity and the consistency while you're studying you okay. know that, that's the main thing <laughs> so my friend used to tell me like uh, ca is nothing but come again like people used to <laughs> write it again and again <laughs> yeah actually in my first group that i had cleared right i told you i had cleared one group so in my uh, like the first group i took three attempts so, okay, it's, it's like typically yeah, come again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Really Actually, even if you have prepared well and your exams went well, uh, even after that, you know, sometimes you fail uh, okay. because the uh -huh. pass percentage is quite low. They don't, uh, I mean, they construct uh, the question paper sometimes in such a manner that you're not able to complete it only. Oh, you know? okay. Okay. The time limit is not enough. To... Yeah, I mean, they construct it that way that, you know, the time limit won't be. Enough. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's good to hear. So I, you've been to multiple uh, places in India, I believe, like uh, you mo moved to several places. So what is the reason behind it? Actually, my dad's job. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, uh, I, I've moved just once. In Udaipur, uh, it was like, I was born and just after that we moved. Uh, okay. So like 20, 24 years of my life have been spent in Delhi itself. Like my schooling and everything was done in Delhi. But yeah, like in the past uh, one and a half or two years, you can say, we have moved to Pune. Yeah, so it's just okay. one, <laughs> one time that we have moved. Yeah, so, because of my dad's job. Okay, so which place do you like the most? I think both places have their own um, you know, <coughs> pros and like cons. about them. Yeah. Okay. And I think uh, since I've spent my, you know, like most, the, the major part of my life in Delhi, I think I have a soft corner for that city, no matter how many cons it has, but I still have that soft corner inside of me. But yeah, okay. like, I, I like it here in Pune as well. I mean, the weather is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, and... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very dissatisfied when it comes to food uh, okay. in Pune because mm -hmm. I miss uh, Delhi food way too much. But yeah, okay. I mean, I like it. The people are amazing. The weather is good. Okay. <laughs> but I heard that the climate is so good in Pune, right? Like compared to other cities. 
yeah pune's weather is like uh, it will rain like out of 12 months it is going to rain 8 8 8 months 8 9 oh. months right don't tell me because i'm from chennai <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, very hot here. Chennai, Chennai is not like that. It's totally <laughs> no. Okay, it so rains. I, I <laughs> thought. Okay, okay, okay. Have you been to Chennai before? Awesome. No, I've never been to Chennai. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't come, please. I, mean, I was there once. I I visited once okay. Chennai, uh, but it was just a, like a very short trip. It was just two day trip, and I couldn't really. you know explored the city once and i couldn't really you know get to know things about the city okay uh, it's very yeah. it's almost like 80% of the climate will be like hotter climate um okay, okay. yeah it's very very tough to live in chennai without the air condition okay but then you know like in pune we will need air condition only for 2 to 3 months okay and okay. that to someone who can you know has a like who has a tolerance for you know uh, warm weather they can still manage it but okay. like eight nine months are like they are amazing <laughs> you know okay cool cool like sir so uh, uh, okay so and this is your yeah, uh, uh, part time job right like uh, clapping go working as a tutor and yeah sort of part time i it is not even been two months uh, like right now i recently joined clapping oh okay someone uh, I mean, I'm, as soon as I came across, uh, you know, the clapping go on, um, I saw an ad on Instagram, you know, saying that oh. if you're good in English and stuff, stuff, you know, and you like to talk to people, you can join this application and like that. So as soon as I, you know, read everything, I was like, I have to do this because you know I'm someone who loves to chat with people and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, okay. Yeah, I joined it, and more like. apart from the part time thing i think it it is more of a rejuvenation activity for me because okay. it's like uh, i study and uh, you know i do this two to three hours every day uh, wow. and yeah I, i mean it refreshes me you know just okay. like that i i get refreshed and i get paid for it <laughs> that's that's true that's true like uh, if we get paid for what we love you know like uh, that's a, that's a great yeah. thing right <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I can do it full time if I have this choice. Okay, <laughs> great, great. But you have, you need some time for preparing for the examination, also, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, like right now, after, maybe, maybe after my exams, I would devote more time to clapping. Let's see. So, how was your experience so far with clapping? Go on, on clapping. Yeah, it's been amazing, actually. I've, I've. i've had conversations with so many different uh, people you know coming from different backgrounds cultures you know languages <laughs> some people were not even from india so yeah it was a lovely experience you know i get to hear their stories you know their experiences of life sometimes even their struggles with the language you know uh, people have had you know okay. a lot of experiences <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to english you know so yeah, yeah i i i get motivated i get inspired oh. you know, i make some friends <laughs> so, yeah. seriously even i even i like to interact with people on a daily basis you know if i if i don't speak with someone uh, on a particular day i feel guilty okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's same actually it's it's same you know like i feel the same I I started this activity as a an hobby, and later it become like an addiction. It's a kind of good addiction. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Right. I think this this addiction gives you a lot, you know. Yeah. Uh, Seriously. Mm. So uh, the the skill is very important for you know moving up the uh, corporate ladder. Also, it's it's yeah, inevitable it's skill, right? I- I think people like talking to people, having conversations with people, being able to have conversations is a skill. You know, you need everywhere at every step of your life. So, someone who's uh, like kind of doing it and enjoying it and is able to do it will, you know, in a way, excel in all the fields. And most of the good speakers, uh, mostly they'll be in leadership position. Mostly they'll be like yeah. leaders, right? Yeah, Even if you yeah, take yeah. Uh, Indian politics, those who speak. a uh, good i mean those who com- communicate well they'll be in a higher position hmm. i think for, for any leader uh, the communication is the first thing i i mean 
if you cannot communicate uh, whatever you want to say or whatever you know if you can't do that then you're not a leader right then then you are not a leader yes uh, and i also heard uh, one uh, fact uh, or uh, uh, message that uh, the only leader uh, who did not communicate and become a great leader is uh, i mean uh, mother teresa uh she was the only leader uh, she, she became a big leader but she did not communicate i mean uh, on the stage but her action speaks her action what a word yeah her. yeah action yeah, spoke yeah, for yeah. her that's what i heard but other leaders uh, spoke and uh, they become a leader i think her way of communication was different yeah. she did not use her speech as communication she used yeah, other correct. things action empathy, I think. so action and speaks better than empathy. words right <laughs> yeah and i think in her case it was her empathy and her care and her affection yeah exactly you know, exactly like okay cool excellent so yeah i think your english is um, almost perfect right <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> thank you thank yeah, you so english. much for the compliment yeah, yeah even i cannot... so it was very nice talking even, with you it was lovely talking to you yeah <laughs> me too me too definitely we'll uh, meet up in the next session Yeah, definitely. I will look forward to, you know, for sure. you to book another session with me. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay.